So here we are with the Joanna. Let me show you how we open it. When opening up the camper, make sure your handbrake is on, your stabiliser legs are down, and the cargo rack is raised if you have one installed. Release the front winch and unwind about five metres of the strap. Walk the strap over to the back of the camper. Make sure you do not have any twists in the strap at this point. Attach the strap hook to the loop on the lid. Now you can unlatch the main lid latches on both sides. Once released, go to the front winch and begin to wind the camper open. This is where it is important to not have any twists in the strap as they can get crushed in the winch. Because this camper is an ultralight model, you can manually open it lifting the lid if you don't want to use the winch. Once fully opened, we need to undo the securing strap on the front bed. The securing strap on the front bed is a simple buckle. Undo this and toss the strap out of the way. Pull the front U-pole up. This is on gas struts and should hold itself upright. Then pull the corner canvas over the lid and secure the Velcro underneath. At the main cabin, we first need to lift up the rear U-pole. This is also on gas struts. Next, we lower the step and enter the main cabin. Inside the camper, we start at the front bed and raise the U-pole using the cam lock to lock it into place. Then we move to the main U-pole and repeat, raise it up and lock it into place. Next, go to the rear U-pole and repeat the steps again. Raise the pole and lock it into place. Moving back to the front bed, we now place the spreader poles between the front and middle U-poles. Make sure the cam locks are facing down when inserting the spreader poles so you can lock them into place easily. Once you have secured the C-clamp at both ends, extend the pole and use the cam lock to secure it open. Then repeat with the second spreader over the main bed. Next, we put the spreader poles in place over the seating area, the same as the front ones. If you want the alfresco panel closed, go inside the camper and go along the panel, zipping it closed.
Let's just run through what I did inside the cabin when we were setting up the trailer. Firstly, I crawled onto the bed and I extended the U-pole here over the main bed first. Then I moved to this pole here and extended this U-pole, this main peak pole up. And then I moved to the rear over the lounge area and extended this U-pole up. After I'd done that, then I placed these spreader bars in and there's one on each side and they clip into this top frame here. They do need a little bit of a push when you first do them, the C clamp can be a bit tight. So I pushed them in and extended and then put another two in the roof line over the lounge area. When you do this, it will be a little bit saggy so you can do your adjusting at this stage. But when you do that adjusting, it's much better to have all of these sidewalls down uh, Alfres go down at the front and zipped up and also zip yourself in with the door. You might find that you extend those poles and it looks all nice and smooth and then when you come here to zip that door down it's so tight you can't zip the door. So zip yourself inside first, do all your tensioning and then open up all your windows and enjoy your trailer. Outside at the front bed make sure the velcro corner is done up. Running along the main lid is a Velcro strip where the skirt for the annex attaches. Next, the final walk around, tucking away straps and securing Velcro around the gas struts. Secure the canvas around the door using the snack buttons. Along the alfresco canvas piece, we have more Velcro, which the annex skirt attaches to, all the way to the end of the camper. Now that the Joanna is all set up, get out there and have some fun.